Why, hello there, everyone. What's happening? Welcome back to the Star Wars headquarters, and today we are exploring the planet Coruscant in the classic Star Wars Battlefront 2. Back from way long ago in a galaxy far, far away. And as you know, Coruscant is definitely one of the locations I want to see the most return to Star Wars games, whether it be, you know, Star Wars Battlefront 2 or a Battlefront 3, Battlefront spinoff game, or a brand new multiplayer Star Wars game. I would just love to see Coruscant return. Hit that like button if you would love to see Coruscant make an epic comeback of epic proportions. And we're going to talk about Coruscant and how they could really like utilize Coruscant and make it into some really unique game modes, including like an Order 66 mode and so on and so forth. So let's jump into the video, shall we? So if you haven't downloaded uh, the classic Star Wars Battlefront 2, I do really recommend it because you can go back and play some really iconic maps, including Coruscant, of course. And I really want to see these return, as I said before, um, because they could do so much with it. We're going to talk about, like, what modes we could see. I mean, of course, we could see, like, a Coruscant, uh, I mean, a Conquest Supremacy type of mode uh, that we've seen in, like, Star Wars Battlefront 2 recently. Uh, but they could even do more with it. They go beyond just the interior space, in my opinion. So they go beyond just the Jedi Temple and really open it up to the city streets. Imagine being able to go into the Jedi Temple, but then uh, taking it to the ne next level and exiting out to the streets where the battle over uh, flows into the streets. I would love to see that. Uh, and then also, they could uh, split up the Jedi Temple area, you know, in the outside streets into their own separate heroes versus villains maps and blast maps as well, because I love uh, heroes versus villains and blast mode. I love that standard team deathmatch fill. I've always loved those type of modes. Uh, and then also on top of that, you know, a lot of people want to see an Order 66 type of mode. And again, whether we would get that in like a Battlefront game or a spinoff game or a whole new uh, Star Wars multiplayer game, it would just be cool to see because it's something that a lot of people have been asking for from what I've seen in the community. It's always brought up to me on streams every now and then. Uh, so it's something that I've seen uh, mentioned before many times. I think they, get, they could get creative with it. Uh, for sure if they wanted to. So what would you want to see in like an Order 66 type of mode? And then, I know someone's going to mention Youngling Hunt. <laughs> I know someone in the comments is going to mention a Youngling Hunt mode for sure. Uh, but I don't think Disney's going to do that. But you can comment on that anyway if you want to see that. Uh, and then also I'm going to mention it. I'm going to go there. A Battle Royale type of mode. Now before you panic... Uh, keep in mind that I don't feel that the hardcore Battle Royale mode really fits Star Wars. I feel like uh, something more like Plunder Mode in Call of Duty or the more recent Rebirth Resurgence mode more fits Star Wars because they have respawns in those modes. And I feel like uh, if they did like a Battle Royale map on Coruscant, it could be freaking epic. Hear me out. Because what they could do is open it up to like the entire city. Imagine being able to drop down on Coruscant and uh, being able to go anywhere at any time in a battle royale type mode that has unlimited response. I think that'd be really cool uh, because if you look at like Call of Duty's Rebirth Resurgence mode, the way that works is if your teammate is still alive, if one of your teammates is still alive, you can respawn on them with unlimited response. And this really opens it, opens it up uh, to more casual fans of battle royale so you know if you've always been turned off by the hardcore nature of a battle royale mode uh you know i think if they ever did it in star wars they would have to do it with respawns i think that would be something that we would all enjoy as star wars fans now uh if you look at what else they could do with it they could also do like a plunder style mode you know where you're going around trying to collect items and stuff like that. I did talk about that in a previous video about my dream bounty hunter Mandalorian type of game that I would love to see where you go down and drop onto the map, you know, and you can plunder for, you know, best car armor, plunder for weapons, gear, 
all kinds of stuff. I think that'd be really cool to see. And uh, Coruscant would be a really cool location for this, or maybe even something like Mandalore or something like that. So let me know what you think about that idea. And again, I have to stress this again. I'm not really into the hardcore battle royale mode where you don't get any respawns and you don't have any second chances and you end up throwing your controller in frustration. I think Star Wars should really avoid that if they decide to go down the road of, you know, experimenting with like a battle royale type of mode. I think they should always offer respawns in their game so that all players can enjoy it. Because again, if you play uh, Rebirth Resurgence Island and Plunder Mode, it's a lot of fun. It's just tons of fun. I know I'm repeating myself, but it's a lot of fun. Now, another opportunity for a Coruscant map or mode or whatever you want to call it is uh, them exploring the underworld of 1313. I'm sure you all remember uh, the canceled Star Wars 1313 game. We never really got to see that. We didn't get to see the underworld of 1313 in the game, which was very disappointing. And I think if they brought back Coruscant in a Star Wars game, it would be the perfect opportunity to really showcase the underbelly of you know, level 1313. If we take a look at uh, Wikipedia, you know, and take a look at what it says, it has a really interesting description of level 1313. 13, 13, 13, excuse me, it says, level 1313 was a level on the metropolitan world of Coruscant, so named because it was located 1,313 levels from the core of Coruscant, which was accessed by the underworld portal. It was a part of Coruscant's criminal underworld and was, and was the location of numerous crimes. 1313 was Coruscant's most infamous level, a dungeon so deep that the world above forgot about it, filled with shattered conduits, fungus on the walls, and criminal gangs. That description right there from Wikipedia just sounds cool. It just sounds like it would be a cool map. You know, they could do anything with it. They could have like a huge you know, supremacy style map with conquest points or whatever. They could also turn into a heroes versus villains map or a uh, blast map as well. They could do so much with the underbelly of Coruscant with level 1313. Let me know if you'd want to see that as well. But that's going to do it for the video. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay as well. I had a lot of fun going back into Coruscant in the classic Battlefront. And uh, let me know if you guys are going back to the classic Battlefront as well and uh, playing these classic maps again. If you want to see more maps from the classic Battlefront showcase on the channel, let me know as well. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of new upcoming videos. And I will see you all next time. And may the force be with you. Always.